Number one, light according to scripture represents insight and illumination. Insight and illumination. Light according to scripture represents insight and illumination in through the truth of God's word. Every time light is used in scripture, it is used to express insight. It is used to express illumination. Ephesians chapter 1, when you begin to read from verse 15 to 23, you can write it for reference, but then I'll just look at, um, let's look at 17 for for sake of time paul is praying now that the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him 18 he says the eyes of your understanding being enlightened so that you may know when the bible talks about light and even marvelous light it means supernatural and unusual access to illumination and insight please say amen. amen knowledge is very important in this kingdom this is a kingdom where dominion happens at the instance of light and knowledge Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 the Bible speaking says my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee Psalms 82 and verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Verse 6 says, I have said, ye are gods. Pay attention now. And all of you are children of the Most High. He says, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes. Why? Because they know not, neither will they understand knowing what god has done for you in christ is not enough you must know what it takes to make that become a reality in your life knowing what god has done for you in christ is not enough you must know what it takes to make that revelation true in your life there are so many frustrated christians who continue to jump and say god has done this the bible says this and and they are right but they are not complete because the goal is not just awareness it must become manifest in your life the bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory so when god says it is a year of marvelous light it means by his spirit he's going to be granting us access to high level insight and spiritual illumination that means he will open up to us by his spirit the deep things as far as the knowledge of the ways of God is concerned. And when you find knowledge, then you are already on course for a victorious life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Number two, very quickly. Marvelous light means also that God is going to be granting us understanding. There is a difference between knowledge and understanding. Knowledge just means the awareness, the information that brings to you the awareness of a possibility. It does not necessarily mean that it must become your experience. The awareness of a factor, a possibility, whatever it is, is called knowledge. That means if I'm aware that I need a mic to amplify my voice, that is knowledge. It does not mean I will have it and it does not mean I can use it. Are we together now? Understanding is the next level. Understanding is such a powerful miracle. You know, when you read the Bible, theologians omit um, miracles like the miracle of understanding. They don't add it to the miracles of Jesus. Most times when you read the Bible and see the miracles of Jesus, you will see the opening of the blind eye, multiplying of bread, but you don't see them add understanding. But let me tell you, understanding is a powerful miracle. Then open he their understanding that they might understand scripture. 
very very powerful remember the story of the utopian enoch after he returned he was reading the messianic prophecy about the death of jesus and like a sheep to the slaughter he would be sent and he did not understand it at all when philip joined him he said understandest what thou readest and he said how can i except some man teach me and he began to expand to him the ways of the kingdom very very important in acts chapter 18 acts chapter 18 um when you read verse um what verse now let me search it here very quickly i'm looking for the story of cornelius acts chapter 18 from verse 24 apollos i meant to say the bible says a certain jew named apollos from born at alexandria follow carefully he says he's an eloquent man mighty in scripture he came to ephesus next verse he says this man was instructed in the way of the lord being fervent in spirit what a description he spake and taught diligently the things of the lord but the bible says knowing only the baptism of john so all his fervency his knowledge was limited to the area he understood the bible says verse 26 now that he began to speak boldly in the synagogue whom when aquila and priscilla had heard they took him unto them and expounded unto him the way of god more perfectly more perfectly more perfectly his problem was not ignorance his problem was insufficient light and understanding are we together now understanding is very powerful it's a miracle job in chapter 32 and verse 8 elihu was speaking and he said but there is a spirit in man and the breath the inspiration of the almighty giveth men so understanding is a gift are you seeing it there now god gives understanding to men men cannot give men understanding it is god that gives a man understanding may that miracle happen to you in jesus name this is a gadget that was designed to amplify my voice there are thousands of people that are able to hear me simply because I'm holding this device. It takes more than knowledge to use it. It takes understanding. I can give you this mic sustaining the power to amplify your voice and ease your communication. But if you do not know how to activate it, you can hold a mic that is so powerful and yet have the same result as someone who never does not even know that there is a mic you see lack of understanding puts you even though knowledgeable at the same level at a, a, with an ignorant person it is very frustrating because the one who does not know and the one who is just aware will painfully have the same result are, are you getting what i'm saying now it is painful to know what should be and not know how to make it manifest this is the role of understanding what is understanding the fortitude for comprehension the ability to know how to apply knowledge in a way that it profits you understanding answers the question how knowledge answers the question what what do I do you are seeking for knowledge how do I do it you are seeking for understanding most people know what to do but they do not know how to do it i think i've given the example here i like to give example with food because for some reason experience has shown that when you give example with food people understand i don't know why but <laughs> are we together get someone who is a trained chef and get someone who just freelance his way into understanding how to cook give them the same ingredients under the same condition 
they will produce two different results don't add any extra ingredient the difference is not the ingredients the difference is the combination what makes that man chef is the ability to combine appropriately are we together now yes it is the same bible that the rich and the poor hold it is the same bible that the mediocre and the great hold in fact it may be the same church it may be the same pastor the difference is understanding hundred people can shout amen and only two will have amen manifest in their lives it is not because the word that came from the man of god is a lie amen came upon a head that is knowledgeable but there is no understanding understanding is a real miracle mastery happens at the realm of understanding the bible says listen carefully it says he that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully it is my prayer that this year god will take us away from guessing just guessing what you think is the way and you can stand with confidence to say by the privilege of god's mercy i understand how this happens are we together there are some of you who are women and mothers here some of you cook for weddings and programs if 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 i if i say cook for all of the people within this large auditorium and all the overflows there are women who will still not be afraid all they need is time and they will cook for thousands of people as though they cooked for only one person they have mastered the art of standardizing their results it doesn't matter whether it's 10 people or 500 people or 1000 people they know what to do may you know what to do and may you understand how to do it in the name of jesus christ look up please do you know still using the example of cooking do you know there are people who can cook for three four five people once there are three four five that's all right but the moment they become a crowd the dynamics of producing the results change there are people who can drive an ordinary small car they would drive it with mastery but give them a truck the dynamics it is still driving When God gives you 100 members, there is a way to pastor 100 members. When God gives you 1,000, there is a way to do 1,000. It is still pastoring, but the dynamics. Many of you are unable to enter the next level of your prophetic destiny because you have not gained mastery on the ways of God to know what to do and to understand how to do it. Are we together? You must cry for understanding. So marvelous light means access to information, knowledge. Marvelous light also means understanding. How do you know you have gained understanding when it no longer becomes luck? How do you know you have gained understanding when you can reproduce the results indefinitely? Are we together? You lay hands on someone who has some problem in his life and the person returns back with a testimony. Then you lay hands on another and it looks like the person does not return with a testimony. Here and there you are getting miracles but you really don't know what the problem is. Understanding. Understanding. Number three, very quickly. Marvelous light also means access to supernatural direction say amen. amen direction is very very powerful direction is very powerful Psalms 119 verse 105 Psalms 119 verse 105 thy word is a lamp unto my feet and it is a light unto my path you've heard this example and I've given it myself that I, I was and, and, and I was talking about this on Friday also no matter how excellent and how expensive a car is the moment it is night and it is pitch darkness the most important factor as far as visibility is concerned is not the color of the car it's not the brand and the make of the car it is the level the headlamp is that true and the light that comes from it 
you can have a rolls royce you can have whatever you know top brands of cars and if for any reason it does not have light or you don't know how to put it on you will sit and be frustrated in a car that even if it is a million dollars you will be frustrated there and there are some of this with all due respect there are some of these are precious people who do town service and community service they, you can see them in a gulf but they can add there's something they do to it to increase the light that's not how it came but they they can add to the light and in the night you will see a car that does not look like anything to write home about but it will have the kind of light of a trailer is that true so men may laugh at you let night come you may look small but the factor that determines advancement anybody can laugh when it is day but when the night comes when the night comes it is those who have high level spiritual illumination when your headlamp is alive and active there are many of you you are you are too concerned about the beauty of the car you've not you are seeing the sun go down and yet you are not verifying whether your light is working direction psalm 43 and verse 3 let's hurry up psalm 43 and verse 3 oh send out thy light and thy truth he says let them lead me let them bring me into thy holy hill and to thy tabernacles send out your light and let them lead me can i tell you even darkness from afar looks like light you will need a high level of light to be able to discern between light and light and darkness in the days that we live in are we together now yes direction john chapter 11 from verse 9 and 10 john chapter 11 from verse 9 and 10 jesus answered are there not 12 hours in a day if any man walk in the day he said he stumbleth not why because he seeth the light of this world verse 10 it says but if a man walk in the night why will that man stumble because there is no light in him there is no light in him that means those who downplay the place of light because it is night oh the world that we're living in right now is dark painfully dark marvelous light means access to direction by the word of god telling you what to do in a way that produces wonderful results in your life May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Number five, very quickly. Marvelous light means life. Oh, this is a powerful one. This is a powerful one. You need to hear this because your life depends on it. Marvelous light means access to life. John 1, 4. John 1, 4. In him was life. He said that life was the light of men. That means there is a relationship between light and life. Jesus, the light of the world in John 10, 10 said, I am come. I am come. This is why the light came. So that you might have life. Light did not just come so that you may see. So that you may have life. And that you will have it more abundantly light is very important and life is important we have so many series we have so many teachings to deal with um, this year by the grace of god and one of it we're going to be examining the concept of life not life as living but the bible says if that same spirit that raised christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body you see it tells you that there 
there is something there is an administration of life that happens to you by reason of passing through the womb of a woman and having blood the life of the flesh is in the blood but that there is a kind of life that comes to you not just because of the blood that you carry but by reason of the living spirit of god that lives within you are we together now and this was adumbrated and demonstrated in the life of jesus himself he had drained his own blood the bible says and took it to perform his high priestly duty yet he resurrected with another life there was no blood and the bible says as my father has sent me you see that now he said so send i you there is a kind of life that he has given because let me tell you this i don't mean to scare you i'm speaking to a global audience but you see this pandemic and many other things i'm not you you would not find me just stand and give prophecies but believe me when i tell you this what you see is not all that will happen you just take what i'm telling you as from god you will need more than a vaccine more than some treatment you will need to have a revelation of another administration of life working within you believe me these are days where you cannot pretend that you know this thing the environment will test you marvelous light means access to superior life now it has become a pentecostal cliche when we talk about the life of god dwelling within a man you know it just becomes oh these are no it is true don't feel bad that you may not have attained unto it experientially it still does not matter the spirit of the living god representing the life of god when he indwells the believer there is something there is a reaction that happens by reason of the presence of the spirit that affects your body the presence of the holy spirit does not just affect your spirit alone your mind alone it translates to your body is that true they are life to those who find them and to their flesh their flesh we have to know this so that people don't just walk around and die just because you can breathe you will need to show the excellency of your connection with the spirit of life this happened as we know historically in spokane during the days of john g lake that when the plague was killing people it was destroying people that man seemed to be invincible and immune to that plague and when they found out that he understood that god dwells in me god dwells in me this is not just empty bragging that causes casualties it's a revelation from heaven life number two there are things about life that you have to believe listen The Bible says we have been raised up with Christ and we have been made to sit with him far above principalities, powers. When you believe this, you can convince yourself that no enchantment and no divination, whether it is through the water you drink, look at this, watch this. I, I don't mean again to scare you, but someone concocts a charm and drops it and you come and match it moving innocently that charm does not just affect your spirit your physical leg that did not believe in the charm starts swelling you never confess that i received the charm yet the charm is working are you seeing that now someone comes close to you and maybe has a flu just ordinary flu and he comes close to you he does not ask you whether you want it he just came close to you you didn't see anything happening yet one or two days later you find out that you also have a flu there are diseases called communicable diseases science knows that far that you can transfer things even beyond the realm of sight 
Is that true? These are the days when there will be a kind of people on earth. Believe me when I tell you this. There is the workings of the spirit from within us that will demonstrate the excellency of the power of God. That one day people will ask you, how are you outsourcing your health and your life? And you will tell them. Now, there are a group of people, I'm not by any means promoting this or creating anything, but I learned that there are a group of people called Breatharians. And some of them have, have lived for 10, 20, 15 years without food. They believe that they are taught some way of absorbing energy into their body. And I mean, I've watched videos on that. Literally, they have conquered food and hunger and all of that. At best, they just live off water for 10 years, 15 years, and all of that. Now, I'm saying these are people who are not born again, yet they have tapped into the vastness of the potential of a human body. Life. So that by reason of the high level spiritual illumination that we have. Medical people are here and I may be wrong but I know that there is something called physiotherapy. Am I right? That one of the ways that you deal with ill health and and viruses am i right on that i hope i don't say what is wrong you can administer light and it can correct an anomaly in the human body science knows that that there is a relationship between light and health and life man shall not live by bread alone but by every word by every light the entrance of thy word giveth light. The entrance of food gives vitamins, minerals. If you eat rice, is it the rice you really need? There is the nutrients from it. So if you eat scripture, what really happens? Because the Bible tells us that both of them can do something to you. Hmm. Believers, Let's not toy with our life literally in the days that we live in. You see that? There are all kinds of mysterious sicknesses and wicked spirits have complicated it so people do not even know which one is medical again and which one is demonic. There are people who can have a legitimate medical condition as soon as that one is over, demons just cash in on the pain and continue pain that you know that this one now is no longer medical. If that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body that that spirit can quicken your mortal body men of God if you're a man of God here you have to know this otherwise the burden of ministry will kill you you can you can hide this thing because the energy will be dissipated people are seeing it Can I tell you this? I didn't, I didn't come to the earth by mistake. I will never live by mistake. This is, this is my covenant with God. My parents have never told me that I arrived by mistake. There is no power in existence that sustains the ability to separate my spirit from my body out of my cooperation. No. You have to choose what to believe. Otherwise, anything will just sweep you like that and declare it over yourself. By light, I, I administer life. I decree and declare life and longevity and abundance. Please declare it. Hey, la baroska di brandagatoska di la Not the arrows that fly by day, not the noisome pestilence not enchantments and wickedness no exalted above principalities above powers above the ill speakings of darkness
Hallelujah. Let me tell you this. And I, I don't mean to sound arrogant and I sincerely apologize. But believe me when I tell you, if I were lying about what I'm teaching you, it would have shown. I have prayed for too many people with situations that you are not even supposed to come near them. Believe me. There are suicidal things you don't try except you know what you are standing on. Hallelujah. I remember years ago, a, a family wanted to destroy, I think some charms that, you know, because the person to inherit the, the thing was not interested. So, and there is a consequence for not being interested. You know what I'm talking about. If it's your turn and you dare make up your mind that you are not interested, there are, there are, there are side effects. And so when they brought it, they, were, they put it in a leather. I, did it, I said, open it, let me see. And they were afraid for me. I said, ah. Afraid for me? When I held it, I looked at it. These things were all elements of the earth. The blood there, is it not a, 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 maybe chicken or goat or whatever it is? The coffin that was there and all the things, all those enchantments. When I held them, I said, look, let me tell you something. These things don't just work anyhow. There is a condition that makes, even Jesus knocked on my heart to enter. Why should something enter without knocking? It's, believe, believe what I'm telling you. I'm not glorifying Satan, but I'm, I'm demystifying some of these things. The person talking to you is not stupid. Believe me, by reason of what I, I do, I have, I have seen all kinds of things. You think it's the devil's plan for me to be alive now? There are people Satan does not want pain for them. He wants them to die. Because even if they are in pain, it's still a, a disadvantage. The fact that they are alive. Ah. Listen to me. Some of you are even afraid for me. Apostle, don't talk like this. <laughs> Say in the name of Jesus, the life of God is at work in me. Say in the name of Jesus, the life of God is at work in me. The Bible describes the believer and he says that even when they take poison, you see that? He didn't say they will go and look for poison and take it. But that when they take poison, it is only when we get to heaven that we will know what we have eaten in this life and the things that we enjoyed that were supposed to kill us. Hmm. This is what I believe. It is, it, is my, it is my conviction. I do not believe that any mortal man born of a woman can take my life I truly do not believe it if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body this is the year when you have to believe don't take the risk of just living in an evil world like this without knowing these things it will cost you more than you can imagine are we together now Man of God, you can't be traveling from region to region, preaching Jesus, healing the sick, and not know what you are standing on. The devil will not watch you raise people from wheelchair, end captivities over people's lives, and not want to take your own life. But Jesus said, no man taketh it from me. He said, I have the power to lay it down. No man taketh it from me. 
the part of scripture you believe is the part that works for you this is why laziness in studying the word of god is you're agreeing with death among other spirits to destroy you hallelujah are we learning life john 8 12 john 8 12 let's hurry up we have to pray john chapter 8 and verse 12 then spake jesus again unto them saying i am the light of the world he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness please help me read it but shall have the light of life there is light that produces life but shall have the light of life number five marvelous light means supernatural empowerment listen let me tell you believers we are in the days of his power we really truly are in the days of his power a demonstration of the authority and the power of the kingdom in a dimension that will dumbfound principalities and powers and that happens by light supernatural empowerment happening at the instance of light it takes light to reign it takes light to exert dominion are we together now jesus said behold i give you power the greek word is exousia authority over snakes and scorpions and over every power of the enemy and he says nothing shall by any means is what you should pay attention to you have to find out the means satan has bloodline is a means your ignorance is a means and yet the bible still says that you are so fortified that if you have the understanding nothing shall by any means hurt you i give you authority the word power there does not just it's not dunamis it is authority the power that comes by reason of knowledge because the bible says an heir for as long as he's a child he differeth not from a slave even though he be lord of all so this is the kind this is the kind of of authority that is demonstrated on account of light to trample upon snakes trample upon scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you are we together we need power we have a lot of teachings along that line but you need to manifest the power of the holy spirit and manifest kingdom authority in truth kingdom authority in truth marvelous light means a season of showing forth a season of unveiling a season of exploits that is the sixth now showing forth isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 arise shine how many of you know those are two instructions you can arise and remain there he says arise then he says shine i will tell you how to shine to arise is one thing but to shine is another arise and shine and both of them will happen because your light is come the same light that makes you arise is the same light that can make you shine and the glory of the lord is risen upon you he says for darkness shall cover the earth gross darkness the people he says but the lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee ephesians chapter 5 and verse 13 ephesians 5 13 the bible says but all things that are reproved 
are made manifest by the light for whatsoever doth make manifest is light that means in this season god is going to be unveiling things secrets that have kept families down secrets that have caparacus kedelepatia the, the puzzles and mysteries that looks like what is them what is the mystery behind this the bible says anything that can make manifest is light the strength of darkness is secrecy and mysticism you do not understand it but light comes to make manifest lord why don't we rise in this family what is it about this ministry that it does not grow what is it about my influence your call your grace upon my life and light comes when light comes that which is hidden is made manifest are you learning now this is very powerful so marvelous light means all of this insight and illumination understanding direction an end to confusion life and then supernatural empowerment 